Good morning everyone. Welcome to PUC Online Classroom. Today I am going to continue our lesson. So I'm going to start with activity number four, word power. And the key point in this activity is about suffixes. Okay. So in this activity you're going to add the suffixes E R O R I S T O I A N to form the names of these jobs. Okay. So you probably don't know what it is. So let me explain further about suffixes. So let me bring you to the handout that I've prepared for you. So when we talk about suffix, we usually focus on affixes. Okay, so let's find out what it is. Affix is a group of letters added to the beginning or end of a word to change its meaning or use. Okay, so we can we can add in the front or we can add at the end. Okay. It is divided into two parts. Okay, so what are they? Prefix and suffix. Okay, so we can you can add in the front or we can add at the end. Okay, as you can see, the first one prefix. It is a group of letters that is added to the beginning of a word. Why? Because we want to change its meaning and make a new word. Or in other words, you can say it controls the meaning. Okay, so prefix can only control the meaning. So what do I mean by saying control the meaning? So let's see the examples right here. Understand, so it is a verb. And we add miss, misunderstand, it's still a verb. But then the meaning is different, it's opposite, okay? Understand, and then you don't understand, okay? So we add miss, which is a prefix. And it is the opposite or negative, okay? But the verb, still verb okay so it doesn't change any part of speech another example patient adjective impatient also adjective but of course the meaning is different okay so this is a negative impatient so again that's what I mean by controlling the, the, the meaning okay because it doesn't change any form it just only changes you know the meaning Okay, so let's move on to the second part of affix, which is suffix. It is a group of letters that is added to the end of a word to form a new word. Okay, it means that when we add the end of a word, so that we have a new word, okay? It controls the part of speech or the form, okay? So here we are, kind, so it is an adjective, then you can say kindness. Okay, we just add N E W S and it becomes noun. Okay. Power that is noun. And then when we add less, it becomes powerless. I miss something. So this one is adjective. Alright. So as you can see right here, when we add the word at the end, we change the part of speech. The first example, adjective, goes to noun and the second noun goes to adjective okay unlike prefix prefix we add in the front but the, the part of speech is still the same verb is verb adjective is adjective but the meaning of course is different okay and uh, adjective and noun as you can see right here the meaning is a little bit similar because one it function as an adjective one function as a noun but more likely the same okay the difference is only the part of speech if it translates so the difference is only the part of speech, okay? All right, so let me go back to our exercise. So in this case, we're going to add only suffixes with E-R-O-R-I-S-T-O-I-A-N, okay? So they are uh, related to jobs, not something else. As you can see, the first one, computer technician, okay? So we'll take only I-A-N, okay? So what about the other? We have factory supervised. Gossip column, guidance council, politic, psychiatric something, okay, TV report, zookeep, okay, so that you can finish all of this word using, you know, the suffixes right here, okay, and you can try first and later you can check the dictionary to find out the answers. If you don't want, that's okay, I will let you have the answers, okay. All right, so let me move on to next possible careers that is speaking. We are not going to talk about that, but let me 
explain a little bit about writing right here. I'm not going to ask you to write, of course, but I just want to talk about pros and cons. Okay, in this activity, uh, it is about writing uh, about the job that you want to be in the future. Maybe you can try yourself at home, okay, to find out what is your dream job exactly and why do you like to work, you know, at that major, that field. Okay, you can just list them down, okay, especially the reasons that you want to be, okay. All right, so that's it for number six, okay. But once again, it's about pros and cons about a job you want to be, okay. Pros means, um, the advantages is the positive points about a job and co cons is a negative one okay not coin is cons okay so it's about advantages and disadvantages okay of, of a certain kind of job you want to be okay all right so let's go to number seven which is about conversation you get a grade 10 okay so what is it 10 exactly okay 10 is you know a light yellowish brown color okay or usually is the attract brown color I think attractive I'm sorry not attract it's attractive brown color and um, uh, the reason you get 10 basically is about when you stay in the sun too long then you probably uh, change or have different color of your skin okay that is 10 and your job in this case is about listening to Tracy and Mark okay especially the first conversation and let's find out what is going on right here and in part B you're going to listen to the rest of the conversation what is Tracy going to do at the amusement park alright so you can go to the listening audio and then listen and find out the answers okay so tomorrow I'm going to focus on the grammar point right here is which is about comparisons and I think that's it for today, everybody. If you have any questions, especially about suffixes, okay, you can ask me. And don't worry, you will have this handout, okay, about prefix and suffix. Okay, that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much. Goodbye.